if you hate buttonholes, this is the gadget for you. It's a bit like installing a walking foot. It's very heavy, it's big and clum clunky. I'm not sure how old it is, it's definitely a vintage. Um, and it's huge. It has three different settings on, so that gives you the, the width between the two sides. So for a thicker button, obviously you would go on a three. I have opened it up because I think there's something missing from there. And there might have been a switch because when I open this up, you can see in there um, a screw um, inside there. Let me open this up and show you. Okay, have a look at that. Now that is engineering and half. That's absolutely beautiful. And this is an old gadget. And look how immaculately it's been preserved. So really what's happening is this walking um, mechanism here is pushing this mechanism here forward and back. So it's controlling that. And it is controlled by this screw here for how far it can go. Um, when we loosen that up, I don't know if you can see, but there are numbers on there. And those numbers are the length of your buttonhole. So we can adjust that from 10 millimeters up to 25 millimeters and it's in imperial up there as well. So I'll set it to 20. So a two centimeter buttonhole. Just tighten that up. Let's go for a wide button. So we can set this here. So this gadget here moves this little mechanism here what that mechanism does is it allows the shift between this and this to vary. So it's going to vary by probably a couple of cent uh, millimetres. So I'll pop it on to th three, which I'll see on here when I've got this all set up. And on this side, we've got a width. So the stitching is wide or narrow. Now again, the oil is working its way through as I play with this machine. So, whoops, it's not going to work on that way, is it? So when I screw this back, now you can pick these up for £5, £10 on eBay. And really, if you don't like sewing buttonholes, this is the gadget for you. Because it's a doddle. You don't need to mess about with measuring your uh, buttonhole because you've got the measurements up there you don't need to worry about trying to make sure it's a straight line because this gadget here does that for you i think i'm a convert i think i'm going to be using this from now on so just tighten that up onto the shank there the screwdriver and as always, when you do buttonholes, make sure you use a little bit of a stabiliser underneath um, because of all the number of stitches that you're doing in a small space. So just pop that down. I'm going to crank it with the machine hand first. Oops, lost my thread. See there? There we go. Throw the thread round. There we are. Okay. where we started. Pull it out of the machine and there we go. A beautiful, perfect buttonhole. And there we go on the other ones that we've done. If I change it to wide, let's see what happens. Now when I set the machine to wide, this gadget to wide, I get that stitching. Right, so that's stitch one. There we go, that doesn't look too bad, does it? And this is all on a straight stitch. So the machine does the work for you. And let's start with third one. So let's move up to three.
and that's our third setting on narrow I'm guessing it means narrow if any of you know better than me then that would be great so it was on one two and three so I'm going to write that on there so that's setting N one two and three now I'm going to do wide and we're going to try and see what we get 